the Herbert Hoover Presidential Library is central to anyone wanting to study his remarkable life and legacy. There are significant collections bearing on his career, particularly in the relief field out at the Hoover Institution at, in California at Stanford, uh, which he actually established, the Hoover Institution. But for his public career, other than his relief work, this is really the, the magnet, the central source. And I've been coming here now for, I calculated, almost 39 years. Uh, I started in 1975 to undertake a uh, what turned out to be a multi-volume biography of Herbert Hoover. So uh, this really became my base of operations, and very happily so. I might add that I'm a New Englander uh, by background and education, so I did not dream early on in my, my life that I would be become a Midwesterner for a significant part of my life, but that's been uh, a very uh, agreeable uh, development as well. And partly um, then coming here to West Branch is to come to the area that he grew up in until he was about 11 years old. So I get as, uh, to have a feel for him as a biographer, seeing uh, the, the place, the little cottage where he was born, uh, reconstruction of the Quaker Meeting House, he's buried here. Uh, so there are many Hoover associations in this little Iowa town that I think are meaningful. Uh, I think a biographer who studies someone can benefit by going to some of the places that were important in that person's life. And I've certainly found that to be true in my research on Hoover. And of course, I'm not simply coming to a, a mass of papers, although there are millions of papers, and to a historian like myself, uh, studying uh, these papers, uh, doing the research, doing the historical detective work is, is a very enjoyable activity and, and so on. But the library here is more than simply a collection of papers. Hoover wanted it to contribute these records to a, a better world through understanding the lessons of history, through understanding the, the, the true story of, of history and not the, the propagandistic versions and so forth. And um, so the library here has not only millions of documents, literally, relating to his life, but thousands of books I've forgotten, I think maybe 20,000 at one point. So it's a wonderful resource that way. In the reading room of the library, and we're in part of the reading room for this session, there are other researchers, even as we speak, uh, just on the other side of a partition. And uh, over those many years that I've been coming to uh, West Branch, I've had the opportunity to meet many other historians working on Hoover or on somewhat related fields. And so I've been able to build up a whole network of friendships uh, just by being here. So it's not a solitary life simply s sitting in front of a lot of papers uh, by any means. The library has a museum function and there's an excellent museum here on Hoover's life. So this is a presidential library plus museum and it is set at a national historic site which has buildings that relate to Hoover's youth. And so for many different reasons from many different angles, this is a, a kind of magnet site for anyone wanting to study Herbert Hoover's life. And we know how carefully he thought about his, his uh, home here in West Branch. And uh, as people who visit will notice, there is a direct line of vision from his birthplace cottage up to the little knoll where he and his wife are buried. And my understanding is that Hoover requested that that line of vision never be encumbered by buildings or trees so you can look from birth to his, his passing and can get a sense of the Iowa landscape that meant so much to him. So he put his imprint on this place and I think it helps any historian or biographer interested in him to have that sensitivity to that uh, on visiting here. And finally, I must add that the archivists, as well as the townsfolk whom I've gotten to know, have been very friendly and accommodating, and the Hoover Presidential Library has an excellent reputation as a place where people can go and not only accomplish what they need to do in research, but have a, a very pleasant experience doing so because of the helpful uh, and consideration uh, and courtesies that are extended to them in their visits. And that has been one of the blessings of my life in these 39 years now that I've been coming to the Hoover Presidential Library.